Hello guys, it's Nicolas speaking. Today's, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create this pop-up model form, pop-up effect actually. When you click on your button, uh, any button which you who make, and click on click on it, our form will pop up just like in model. And here you can type your name, email, choose a service or put uh, other fields whatever you want. Here I have the field for the message and the submit button. Okay, you can, I don't know, you can use this uh, pop-up form, model form for your future fraud projects, for your own project or for your own website or anywhere where you want. Uh, okay, I will build this tutorial with some uh, Java, uh, JavaScript actually and CSS of course and for plugins I'm using the contact form 7 but I think that it is the same procedure for other forms because the majority of WordPress forms, contact forms comes with the short code just like this one and you can paste it in your code and that's it. Of course, I have the Astra team and I'm using the Gutenberg. I didn't, uh, I didn't want to use the Elementor, just the Gutenberg. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, let's copy our, um, our, CS, uh, our HTML for our form and the JavaScript code. Okay. Let's paste it here on this form in new block. Okay, here type the short code. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to drop in the comments down below. So what we have here? We have uh, our button with ID of button and text drop us a message. Here we have the model. And this is our HTML actually, one division which contains the another division. The main division has the ID for model and class for model. ID it is important because we can target it with the JavaScript and with CSS of course. And this class I'm going to target it with CSS to put some styling on our form. Inside div it contains the Span with close with button with X actually close button and short code for our form. I have created the simple pop up form with, with contact form 7 plugin. Here I have fields for name, email, drop down for choose service, uh, label for text area, and the button. Okay, maybe in the future I will film how you can create much. Uh, simpler or complicated forms but uh, down there in the description I will put the links for all my tutorials with this content form 7 plugin. Okay uh, so now we have our script we have three var var variables here, here model btn and span with the first one we get the model with the second we get the open the button for the opening of model and third one we are um, <clears throat> we are getting the x the close button and for this btn on click with that function we can uh, actually this button activates our form our model and with this function on click on span this is the for close button when user click on X, it will close our form, and this is for activating. Okay, and this uh, last line here, actually, it is the when the user clicks outside of the form anywhere, our form disappear. I didn't mention that our project is mobile friendly, mobile response actually completely you can see okay let me show you to, 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 to. 
you see. Okay, now let's get back to our code. When you type this code here, and by the way, I took this code from the, I think, HTML uh, W3School, and I little bit, I'm, I have done a little bit of tweaking, especially for the CSS part. So let's see how uh, our form, how it is look like now. Just refresh. Here I have, here I have the customizer with additional CSS, and this is our form so far. Now it is time for styling, and here. I have the style for the previous tutorial. So if you want to know, if you want to learn how to create the contact form just like this, I will put link here in the top right corner to see. Okay. Now I'm going to paste my CSS step by step, and I will explain you every line. With this, we can target our main division, this four model division, actually. And here we need uh, to default state will be this. Uh, we don't, we can't see our form because of this plane line. Also, we need the fixed position with that index of one, if we if, because we want to our form to be on the top. Uh, so we need we have we need some padding. Actually, let me copy all of my CSS and then I will explain you. Oh, it's not working, but I don't know why. Oh, I know what's the problem. Let me copy all of this code. I have pasted in short code instead of HTML block. Sorry, that was the problem. Now it's fine. So one more time we have the HTML file for our form, the main div, and one div inside with close button, with span with X, and the short code for our contact form. And here we have the script, three variables with document get element by ID more for model for button for close and with this button we activate our model with this function here on click function actually we can close it if we click anywhere on our page we can close our form click on update and now let's refresh i have pasted all of my css already so here we have the form model and yeah for padding we need some space inside this white white quad we need also left and top to be zero width and height 100 percent overflow if we want to scroll our form on small screen sizes and background color this color there and also we need animation duration and animation name with animate top then we uh, we have targeted the model content this class here model content this one with background almost white margin auto and padding 20 pixel with border little border here with a 40 pixel position relative because I want to move our cursor here and margin top in this margin here. Now we have targeted the X button with color, float right, font size, font weight with position absolute and if we want to do the position absolute on child we need to set position relative on the parent container and I have added the top minus 10 pixel and right the 10 pixel. You see, here is our X. Now it's there, okay. Also, our button with class of close, 
with states of hover and focus. It has the color of the pure pitch black with text without text decoration and cursor will be pointer. See? Our button, of course. Actually, not this that button. <laughs> this button. Uh, it has display block and margin uh, zero auto because I want to center it. And animation, it has the keyframes with animate top. This is the name for our animation, animation name. And here we have from top 300 pixels with opacity of zero to bottom zero and opacity one. And this is the media query for all screen sizes less than 992 pixels. It has the model content and width for model content width, width will be 80 pixels. Click on publish. Now let's check our page, our project. Click here. And this is our submission form. Okay, guys. Without further ado, don't forget to check my tutorial for this nice content page. If you have any questions, drop down in the comments down below. So thank you for watching and see you next time in another tutorial. Bye-bye.